When high school students opted out during New Jersey's first round of park testing or scored too low to pass, few realized it could become a barrier to graduation. But that's the result, says the Education Law Center's Stan Karp. Well, the worst case scenario is that thousands of students who have met all other requirements would not graduate in June. Karp told the Joint Committee on Public Schools that out of about 95,000 seniors in the class of 2016, some 55,000 are at risk for graduation for failing to take or simply failing the language section, including more than a thousand seniors each in the Newark and Patterson school districts. But few apparently realized New Jersey's Department of Education would make passing park the primary path to graduation this year, Karp says. Changing the rules for graduation for students who are already in their senior and junior year are unfair and changing the rules for graduation without changing the statute or the regulations that set those requirements is, not, is a violation of the law. The center and the ACLU filed a lawsuit against the DOE last fall over using park results as a graduation requirement. Many families who are now finding out their kids face hurdles to graduation claim the Department of Education never properly warned them. They are scrambling and hoping against hope that something changes, that the department has a change of heart or there's some relaxing of the rules. I have great concern that it wasn't as transparent to them and their families as it should have been. Others wondered why it was such a big surprise. It seems disingenuous to me that, that all of these people weren't aware of this or have waited till the last minute in order to resolve an issue that we knew about probably this time last year. The department declined an invitation to testify today, but said in a letter to the committee, there's always been a system for students to demonstrate and meet graduation requirements through an alternative assessment or pathway to graduation, noting they can take alternative tests like the SATs or ACTs, but those require fees. They can also take a military aptitude test. Finally, districts can design a so-called portfolio of tasks for each individual student. But that's time consuming and normally involves only a few kids per district, educators say. This year's numbers? Bloomfield 50, Collingswood 40, Franklin 75. And what administrators have said to us is that these numbers are far greater than last year. Uh, about three times as many students or more who will have to go through the portfolio process. Members of the committee say they plan sometime this week to meet with members of the Board of Education and hopefully the commissioner to try to find a way to solve these issues as the clock ticks down towards senior graduation. At the State House in Trenton, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.